guys, this is FMAC Technique of the Week, and today we're going to be talking about blocking the kick. In blocking the kick, our attacker has approached us in an aggressive way, and he immediately takes his right leg in with a front kick. Uh, it's important to remember before we even start, white belt itself, for the most part, is against untrained attackers. So what I mean by that is he's not throwing a real good, clean, crisp kick. Okay, this is just, you know, some guy on the street, he doesn't know much. I'm not saying that everyone on the street, you know, doesn't know anything and they could know a lot. Just for this specific technique, okay, our attacker is untrained. He's a little bit sloppy. So when he comes in with that kick, is, is they come in with a real, you know, strong front kick, it's still sloppy. He's not kicking and pulling it back to the chamber to bring it back. He's kicking and just kind of landing forward, okay. So we realize that as we're getting attacked. Now, as Zach comes in with his front kick, the first thing I'm going to do as that kick comes in is I'm going to step back. All right? Step back. So as he kicks, if I just step back to make distance, the kick might miss me anyways. Now, as that kick comes in, while oh, hold it up for me. as I step back, I'm going to turn to my toe to heel fighting stance. My right hand's going to be at my guard, and as his foot comes in, my left hand's going to do a low block down. So as he kicks, I step back, boom, clear the leg. From here, because he's untrained and he moved in, he's going to be in my punching range. So as he lands, this hand comes back up immediately to my guard. I'm not going to leave it down here because chances are he's not going to be just throwing a front kick at me. So I'm immediately back up to my guard. As this happens, I turn forward. I let my hip create my power as I throw a punch to the solar plex. So come back. Again, as he throws his kick, we step back one, my guard is up, I turn two, and throw my punch. Now, as I talked about, we're dealing a little bit with distance here. So when we start, he's in a kicking range. When I move back for a split second, no one's really in range, okay? I've gotten away from it, but because of his attack, when I block his leg down, he's going to let himself fall into my punching range. And as he does that, that's the exact time. Bam! I'm going to throw that punch. We're aiming this punch specifically at the solar plex, but as with any technique, it's, you're not going to you know, actually use it the way it is intended. Okay? That punch might not work. He's going to throw that kick, and he might have his hand right here. Well, if it's right there, I'm going to punch him maybe the chin, the nose. Okay? So it's not like this is the end-all, be-all. The, the technique will change the way you need it to change. What we're learning here is the theory and the principle behind it. Okay, we need to kind of take the, pick it apart and realize what we're doing. So again, we're dealing with distance, moving away from the attack. And as I move away from the attack, I let him fall into range. I turn forward. And when I turn, I'm going to turn my hips in. My feet come forward because I want to add a lot of power to that punch. I want to go through my target. So one last time, blocking the kick. He comes in. One, two. Three sides. From a different angle. Again, he's coming with a kick. I step back. One, two. Okay. That's FMAC technique of the week, blocking the kick.